a very good morning good morning mama tara glasgow scotland it's a beautiful monday morning down here in scotland and the weather is absolutely divine yep <laughs> this is it so this is my view mama tara good morning so this morning i was taking my morning walk i was just thinking of how far i have come in this country it's been three years since i came to glasgow scotland and my goodness a lot of learning lessons along the way you know uh, life life happens sometimes and uh, it's beautiful you know in so many ways it still remains absolutely beautiful because they are in life i mean in life there's so much um there are more lows than highs you know you go through the good moments that usually something happens that uh, they don't last that long you know there are lots of uh the lots of struggles and the lots of uh you know I don't, I don't even know what to call them along the way but that is life you know that's the beauty of life because without the struggles in life then there would be no lessons and uh you know when things are going smooth all the time then uh we will not be motivated to think you know there's a, a certain level of thinking that only comes with uh, being in tight situations and then your brain has to work over time so that is that is the nature of life so glasgow scotland when i sit here today my mother on the bench when i say that i'm actually reminded of uh, the jeff koinange show you know a uh, show that i used to watch in kenya back in the days so my mother on the bench he is mama and when i look at myself you know i am proof that god truly works in people's lives and uh the thing about life is that you could be going through difficulties we all go through things at different capacities and levels in our life you know that is nobody is living a perfect life and uh even the people who look like their stuff is together it's it's not always what it looks like you know we might be out here jumping around and uh putting on happy faces but behind those faces there are stories everyone has a story and so this is it when i look at myself i am proof that there is a living god god has done a lot of work in my life behind the scenes god has done a lot a lot in my life uh i have come a long way and i still got i still have a long way to go and the thing about uh being in tight situations is trusting god uh i would like to think of it as riding through the tides or is it the waves you know when you're out in the ocean and uh you've got those big massive waves coming at you and you need to be able to balance yourself in a way that you don't sink and that is what life can be sometimes so the balance life is a very tricky and tight balance and prayer is being able to ride those uh, to ride the, the is it the tides or the waves ride the waves and stay balanced uh so when we are praying you know forgive the 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 the, the clarity of this video it won't be so clear about what is more important is what i'm saying not the face or the clarity of the video the sound is fine so when we are praying where we are in that space of prayer and whatever it is that you're praying for in your life it is very difficult to wait a lot of us become impatient <laughs> and we are human we are human so we are always going to be impatient and uh it's hard to wait so when you pray you want to see results and most of us wants to see results now you want to see it in the next month two months three months but that's not how prayer works in my mother tongue my local mother tongue which is the luo language uh from kenya there is a there, there is a phrase that says that pong pong nyasai regomos you know which means that i don't even know how to translate it direct translation can be tricky because sometimes uh, the message is lost in translation but what it means is that uh you see back in the days there is a staple food in kenya ugali we all know ugali if you're kenyan or east african or most places in africa in some places in zimbabwe they call it salsa or in tanzania they call it sima back in the days before we had the posho meals the millers this uh, maize meal or millet flour or whatever you use for this uh, meal yam if you're eating fufu 
uh, they used to be, they, they would grind them on a smooth uh, stone. You know, back in the days, they would find a big smooth stone and there would be like a pestle and mortar, but from nature. And that is what you used to turn your millet, your yam, your maize into fine powder and make this uh, uh, meal. So it says that uh, the meal, God's miller, sometimes English, they, they say that God's uh, portion meal works very slowly and you need to be patient extremely patient some things are going to take months or even years to manifest itself you're not going to pray for something today and then it happens tomorrow but the beauty is that while we are in prayer god's grace will always be sufficient god will provide a, a, a sort of a cushion for you in one way or another sometimes it might be through people who will come your way and uh, help you from time to time it could be helping you financially. It could be helping you in terms of advice. It could be helping you in terms of prayers. And so many times, you know, people will come and help you with your children, you know. And uh, prayer, uh, prayer and help comes in very different ways. Meanwhile, as you wait for whatever it is that you're praying for. So that is it. Things will definitely work out. It might look like it's taking time. But in the meantime... Remember, you're out in the ocean and you need to stay afloat. So you'll be balancing yourself in the high, you know, in the high uh, waves, in the waves, in those strong waves. And you need to stay still. You know, it says, stay still and know that I am God. Because when you have faith, you know, 100% faith in God and you leave it to him, he will do it for you. Don't give up. Along the way, it's so easy to give up. It's so easy to take shortcuts. It's it's so much easier to take the steering wheel in your own hands and say that and find ways to end your misery. But that's not how it works, you know. We learn so much when we're going through difficult times. And if these are temporary times, so guaranteed, guaranteed, have faith and believe that your situation today is not going to be the same situation tomorrow. In one way or another, God answers prayers. Sometimes it can be a complete no, or it can be a yes, or it could be wait. And um, when it's a no, it does not mean that the prayer has not been answered. The prayer has been answered only in a different way that we might not be willing to listen to at that moment. So one thing I have also learned about prayers is that when you're praying, have an open heart and say, and let God's will be done. Even if it is not in accordance with what you want, let his will be done because his will will always be the, way, the best answer for us. We might not see it now, but it might make sense. I mean, and that only comes with wisdom. You know, when, when we have that uh, close relationship with God, which I cannot say that I'm there yet, but it is something that we strive at every single day. We keep working on our relationship with God. Then it will be easier for us to hear that voice when there's less clutter. So whatever it is that you're going through at the moment, if you do not have a job, if you do not have a way to provide for your family, it's going to happen. God will answer the prayers day to day in a way that you will not even believe it. When everything will come together, you know, God does not stop halfway. He always finishes what he starts. If we only have the patience to give him time to work on our cases. So that is Mama Atoro. A very good morning and have a beautiful week for Mama. And whatever it is you're praying for, may God give you the grace and may give you the strength to continue standing and not collapse and not, uh, you know, not be depressed. Don't, don't get de depression along the way because uh, you will need to be in a great wholesome place when that prayer is finally answered so that you can be able to enjoy uh, the fruits of what God has laid out for you in terms of your answered prayers so mama toro ariti mama's mornings boom